Hi, I'm Jesse Simon with Pickleball Instruction. Welcome to the House of Pickleball, where I'm joined today with Richard, Vicki, and Jean. We hope you enjoy today's lesson. Many of the players I coach complain the game just goes too fast. In this video, Pickleball Instruction gives you three tools to help slow the game down. During a non-threatening shot, such as a return of serve, third shot drop, or a dink, watch your partner hit. This gives you inside intel. You will know where the ball is going and where you should move to be in good position for your opponent's next shot. On my partner's third shot drop, I move forward, turn, and read the trajectory of the shot. If it looks unattackable, I yell good or go. This allows us to confidently move up together and not wonder what the other person is doing. When dinking, it is important not to make unnecessary movement. I watch my partner hit to determine where I move. If my partner dinks cross court, I stay and cover the line. If she is closed off, I anticipate a down the line dink and I move to cover the middle. Note that we only have time to watch our partner hit at the non-volley zone if our opponents dink the ball. Watching our partner hit really helps to slow the game down. The split step ensures you are balanced as the opponent strikes the ball. It gives you a chance to think about where the shot is going as you stop moving and reset your balance. This slows the game down by giving you fluid movement to the ball. See the video in the description for a follow-up study from Third Shot Sports on why to start the split step as our opponent strikes the ball. Players who rush the net get rewarded with the occasional smash, giving them an adrenaline rush. Rushing the net can lead to more errors and takes away all lateral movement to the ball. So if you've tried watching your partner hit and split stepping, and you still think, the game goes too fast, then try this. Make a plan for your shot before you hit. Here I scan the court first and plan my next shot. Then I keep my eyes on the ball until after I make contact. When I take my eyes off the ball, it's often because I'm worried about where I'm hitting the ball or what my opponent is doing. This is too much to think about during a shot. Consequently, it leads to more errors. Let's recap these three ways to slow the game down. Watch your partner hit, split step, and make a plan. Thanks for tuning in to this video from Pickleball Instruction. Please like and subscribe if you find this video helpful.